Okay, so, uh, hey everybody, this is, uh, How to Fool Boyfriend. It's basically, it's basically to sum it up, it's a game about pigeons, um, and birds of sorts, and I really want to meet this one. This one just, just looks like the one. And if I'm right, we're playing the female protagonist in this game. Please enter your name. All right, what am I gonna name myself? It's gotta be something awesome. <clears throat> uh, that's a good name. Sorry about me coughing, I'm a bit sick. Good name, good name, good name. Um. Seto. And, ooh, last name, okay. Pepe. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> yes, this is okay. <coughs> this powerful visualization module allowing even the birdiest of birds to appear as normal humans when first introduced. Yeah, well, I, I kind of like to know what they would look like as humans, but they're gonna end up being birds for the rest of the time. Oh no. <laughs> This could be a very interesting game. You can tell that already. Make some water. Agua. Mm. Extensive curricula and facilities. Okay. <clears throat> it's already been a year since I've ended my ordinary life and walked through these gates. Ah yes, now that I'm done dying, let's do this. I should probably say, the school is known for one thing in particular. This school is Japan, no, the world's greatest gathering place for gifted birds. <laughs> birds who want to study the arts, the sciences, even sports all come to St. Pigeonations. Teaching staff and the student body are both made up of a diverse blend of birds of different backgrounds and species. I'm often asked why I choose to come here, despite not being a bird. It's a long story. Not every day that I see you rushing around the halls like this. Yota! Oh my god, I have to do voices. Usually you've been ready for an hour by now, Seto. Overslept? <coughs> oh. Oh, hello. Dreamy anime eyes, right off the bat. This rock dove is named Kawaryota. <laughs> We've been friends since he was barely hatched. Oh my god. He's like halfway out of the shell, just peeking the little anime face out. He's like, hello, here I am. Just peeking out. Okay, okay. He can be a little mischievous, but he's responsible and kind. Breakfast was a little hard to catch today. I can't relax without red meat inside. Living as a hunter-gatherer sounds tough. I'd be happy to make your breakfast, you know. I might take you up on that offer when starvation looms. Thanks, Ryota. I don't know why I had that red meat inside, but okay. <clears throat> Oh, the bell already? Come on, we need to hurry to class. Jeepers. <laughs> no good being late on the first day. Oh my lord. And so, Ryota pulled me along into school. Today is the start of a new semester. I wonder what lies in store. It was all I could do to adjust to the atmosphere last year. Better make up for all that lost fun. Okay, so if you guys enjoy this, um, there's going to be links in the description, it'll probably be next in the playlist, or I'll have a big box on the screen that you could click, and it literally just takes you to the next video. It's this amazing concept that YouTube has somehow managed to put together. I don't know how, but they did. So, if you guys want to do that, and you want to see some freaking pigeons fall in love, well, human and pigeon love, oh god. This could be so weird. 
you can uh, subscribe and watch the next video and love me. I don't know. You know, just do your thing. Do your thing. And uh, yeah. Bye.